Yes, it's Yasa from Yasa Tales. Hello, everyone. It is I, Yasa from Yasa, from Yasa Tales. All right, so last week I showed you all that makeup video that no, I'm not 100% proud of. But this week I'm going to tell you guys a story that I've actually been kind of been waiting to tell. So this is the story of how I almost got mugged. And um, all right, so here we go. So I this happened a long time ago, a couple years ago, I think. And, well, two years ago, there it is. And I was, I didn't have a car back then or a driver's license, so I was just walking to work. And I had a pretty sweet setup. I had my red Bluetooth headphones on. It was pretty dope, not gonna lie, a pretty sick setup. Um, and then it happened. So random white dude came out of nowhere, right? He had like long hair and everything. And he was like, listen, can I see your phone? And I was like, nah. And he was like, I mean, I just need to make a phone call. And I was like, well, I mean, if you really need to make a phone call and I really can't stop to wait or really to talk to you right now because I'm gonna be late for work. So there's a gas station right up the street. You just head up to them and they'll let you use their phone. He was like, no, I need to use your phone. Anyway, after hearing all that, I was just like, nah, dude, I'm not gonna let you use my phone. Anyway, I gotta be late for work, so I'm, I'm gonna be late for work, so I'll see you later. So this guy, he got really mad, and he was like, listen, I'll fight you for it. And I was like, excuse me? He said, I'll fight you for your phone. And I was like, listen, I mean, all right, so I just wanna say this, all right? So this guy, he wasn't like he was like, I'm trying not to be rude and say that skinny, short people can't fight, because that's not true, all right? I mean, some people can't, but this guy, he just, all right, he looked tired, and he looked worn down, like he'd been running for a really long time. And I just, he looked too shady, you know what I mean? He looked like one of those people, you hand him your phone, and then he just takes off. And then when you start to chase him, one of his friends from out of nowhere and beats you up, and you wake up in a dark alley, anyway, so it's a whole thing. So I started to walk away, and me and ignoring this guy, I didn't, wasn't paying attention to when he snuck up behind me, grabbed my headphones, and then threw them in the street. And I was like, wow, dick move, eh? oh. I was just like, all right, I'm gonna test the theory. I'm gonna call the cops right now. And that's exactly what I did. Film the dude walking away and everything. So the cops show up and like, I mean, they were pretty fast. So I guess they were already looking for this guy, but either way, they, they appeared really fast. So the cops show up, they were like, um, what's up? I was like, listen, this random white dude came out of nowhere, right? And he just, he just ripped my headphones off, threw them in the street. He took off. I don't want him to hurt anyone else. And they were like, all right, bet. Um, I said, well, I have video if you guys need to know what he looks like. They're like, oh, sweet. All right. So I showed this guy my video and um, they were like, all right. And then I like while they were looking at my video, I saw the guy like in the background. Of, I mean, not, <laughs> not the background. I saw him yonder off yonder away and he was in somebody's yard um he stole someone's garden hat and he thought it would disguise him so he tried walking off and i was like there he is and they were like all right bet you want to get in the back of the cart cart and i was like not really they're like i mean not like for anything like that i'm like you want to you know identify him in case he like gets away or something like that i was like all right bet because honestly honestly my video didn't show like his face. I just saw like the back of his head and stuff. Anyway, so I got in the back of the cop car and this is when they turned into an episode of Cops. Man, we started hunting this dude down, man. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna try to, it was awesome, all right? I'm just gonna say that for like next 30 seconds, I really thought I wanted to be a cop. Anyway, so we found this guy trying to like dig a hole through the sewers for some reason and we got him. And then they're like, all right, is this the guy? And I was like, yup, that's the guy. I would never forget those crazy eyes. And they were like, do you want to press charges? And I said, you better believe I want to press charges. Bam. That dude was arrested. And then they were like, so listen, you're on your way to work? And I said, yes. Do you want, to, you want us to give you a ride to work? And I was like, does this mean we don't have to stop for traffic lights? And he said, well, we, we still have to. I mean, I was like, all right, cool. So the cop, the cop let me ride up front and it was a white cop. I just want to point that out. I mean, I don't know if that's really significant, but anyway, so he gave me a ride and in the, in the car, he actually, we had a pretty interesting conversation. So I made a comment. I was like, it was kind of strange. You know what I mean? He's like, what do you mean? I was like, well, I mean, a black kid driving with a white cop and 
that's a situation that you really don't hear about a lot. And he was like, yeah, I know. It's actually pretty terrible. And he said that it sucks that that's not the norm. And I said that too. It, it was just like, you know, it is weird. It is a sad thing where that's not a normal situation where it's not, I mean, okay, take away the race factor, all right? If you just wanna say a cop helping a citizen out, you know what I mean? That should be the norm. But the fact that so many of us just think about race, it was just about, well, black cop versus, I'm sorry, the white cop versus black kid. And I don't know, I'm not saying that race is not a factor. I am saying that sometimes we should just look beyond the skin color and just try to see it as just not a black versus white issue, but more of just a people versus people issue. Because the world, all right, the world is bigger than our racism. You know what I mean? I mean, the world is just, and I'm just, I'm not trying to be like, you know, cold or anything like that. I'm just saying that I don't think all cops are bad. What? He said there are bad cops out there, but then there are also some good cops. And then those people who are just kind of in the middle. So I said, all right, so I get it. It's, it's not, we like to think that it's so simple of just, good guys versus bad guys and stuff like that. And it's really, it's never that simple. We like to think it is because I feel like to some extent that gives us some comfort, but in reality, the world is just shades of gray and we just pick our own versions of black and white and that's what we live by. That's what we call right and wrong. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that it's right. I'm just saying this is what happens all the time. You know what I mean? I mean, not all the time, but it happens sometimes. <clears throat> anyway, point is, the cop gave me a ride to work. I made it on time and I also got my headphones back for free. All right, so that'll be the end of our story. Uh, just, a quick up just a quick update on the channel. <sighs> this laptop situation, I've had no luck on it. Man, I first, I tried paying it through the Apple store. And Apple was like, well, you need to have an Apple card. So I tried signing up for the Apple card. But they're like, oh, you don't qualify because you don't have the right bank. And I was like, well, that's some BS, but whatever, I guess. So I went to Best Buy to see if they could get it. And they were like, well, you got to sign up for a Best Buy card. And I was like, all right, bet. Then they're like, well, you don't really have the right bank. So I was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? So unless I can pay for the whole computer in full, I doesn't seem like I'll be getting a new laptop. So that sucks. So this is what I'm going to do. I don't care what it takes me. I will get a new laptop. And I swear there is no way I'm giving up on the animation because it's way too early to give up on any of this stuff. So I'm just saying that I am most definitely going to get this laptop. No matter what, I swear I am doing this because one, I've got way too many stories to just like lock away because of some stupid laptop. I swear, I will get this laptop no matter what. Bet. Oh, also, I just wanted to say, um, I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you guys for watching till the end. Um, make sure you guys subscribe, comment, please, because I love looking at you guys' comments. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a YouTube thing? No, no, it can't be. I, I just like looking at you guys' comments. Um... And that's pretty much it. Psych, did you guys really think I was going to leave you guys hanging about what next week's video is going to be? Of course not. All right, so next week's video, I'm pretty sure is going to be the story of how my stepdad almost got me arrested. I know, I was just talking about cop stuff and all this stuff. All right, anyway, that's, that's what next week's story is going to be, all right? See you guys later. Yasa from Yasa Tales. Out.